Well, this is kind of exciting. Hey, what's up? Cheap beer for you to drink. My name's JJ. This is day two of uh, Beer Week. I don't, I don't know what we're calling it. I got a lot of product and I need to review them, so I'm doing as many videos as I can in one week. Actually, this is the second video in one day, in one night, and that's kind of exciting. And it's this new Yingling product, or is it new? Um, it's kind of interesting. It's Yingling's Bongo Fizz. It was announced in November of last year, but I had seen it for the first time uh, when I went with my brother-in-law's brothers-in-law. Which one is it? Brothers-in-law to uh, Party Source in Newport, Kentucky, just outside of Cincinnati. Really cool, cool store. And I had not heard of these. And uh, Tony spotted this. He's been in many videos. You know Tony. It is the Yingling Bongo Fizz. It is a premium beer with natural mango flavor. And the interesting part is Yingling already made Raging Eagle, a really good 6% alcohol that was a mango beer. So I assumed that this was 6%. It's not. It's 4.5. So this is a different brew. And I checked Yingling's website. And as great as uh, that Raging Eagle was, it's not listed among the beers that they are currently making. But this one is. So I guess this must be replacing the Raging Eagle, which again at 6%. It was a great beer. This at 4.5%. I believe according to their website, it said 150 calories. Not that it says it on this can. But again, it just says Bongo Fizz, premium beer with natural mango flavor. Uh, it's got this uh, little, little dog dude on it. America's oldest brewery. It smells kind of like that uh, Raging Eagle, which was a great beer. Very mango-y though. Like very mango-y. If you weren't a mango fan, you were not going to like that beer. So we're going to try this one out. Let's just do the whole... It's going to be pretty if I fill this bad boy up all the way. Filling up my burger glass. I can't get burger beer anymore. It's one of the other things. I like to go into uh, Jungle Gyms to get a 24-pack of burger, and it's gone. I think they finally quit making it, which is sad. Hopefully it comes back. But here it is, Yingling's Bongo Fizz. We're going to see if this is a good beer. It's a mango beer. See if it's a good mango beer. It's pretty light, pretty golden. Slight haziness. The mango smell is... It's a little different. We'll see what it tastes like. So that is not Raging Eagle. Not only can you tell because it's one and a half percent less, but it doesn't really taste like it. That was really mangoey. The mango uh, is not as strong here. I think I like this one the most. This is not a light beer, but it kind of drinks like it is. The calorie content's not bad. Um, and Yingling makes great beers. And this is no exception. It is a, a really, a truly great tasting beer with a uh, kind of subtle mango. I actually really like that. Um, it's springtime here in Ohio, and I, I wish it was warmer out because this is a great sitting on the porch and cracking open a cold beer kind of beer. Really easy to drink. It, it tastes like a regular yingling, but with the slightest, most refreshing mango taste. That's really nice. And a little different than the Raging Eagle. I was kind of thinking, hey, maybe they just tweaked it, but it was kind of the same thing. It's really not. This is, uh, I wouldn't even say better because it's really good, but the Raging Eagle was really good. It was just a whole different beast. And this is something totally different. And, uh, it's really cool. Uh, I mean, these cans are cool. Uh, they're really strange looking. They really stand out. And this is kind of a strange beer. It's a, a really good, just slightly mango-y beer. Ultra good and ultra refreshing. Hey, that's a win in my book. 
uh, the only thing I don't remember is the price. <laughs> Tony actually picked up this 12 pack and I took a can or, or two, maybe I took two cans uh, home with me. And uh, we picked up so much uh, beer and I picked up some bourbon, he picked up some moonshine. It was a big haul. Um, so this, hopefully he'll be joining me on the channel soon to review one or two things we picked up when we were down there. But uh, yeah, if you see this and you're a fan of mango, even really even if you're not, um, mango flavor is great. Really natural. Um, no, there's almost like an orange, like a, a a peach. It's just, it's such a good, bright, subtle fruit flavor that I wouldn't have been able to tell this was mango. If I had to guess, I would have said like peach and with the slightest bit of orange, but regardless, it just complements that flavor of that yingling really well. It's really good. Uh, but again, videos uh, all week long because I got a lot of stuff that I need to review. But this is a win, and as long as it's reasonably priced, which it should be, it's uh, definitely one I would recommend uh, you picking up and checking out if you are a mango fan, even if you're not, was my point there. Um, really good cheap beer for you to drink if you see any other uh any other new products out there let me know there we go i can say a sentence uh leave those comments down below if you've tried this or would like to try it it's it's nice it's really good uh yeah again leave those requests in comments down below it's cheap beer for you to drink thanks for watching